do they make of what you do in the civil service? What do your colleagues think? Um, it varies a lot, actually. Um, there are quite a lot of disc world readers, of course. So you get the variation between, oh, you're that Stephen Briggs, or, or are you the Stephen Briggs that writes the books? Or when I told my daughter I, I went to meetings that Stephen Briggs went to, she was really impressed. You know, you've, you've increased my street cred, which is quite cool in its own way. To those who think, yeah, he spends all his time doing Discworld and doesn't spend half as much time as he should do being a civil servant. So you get a yin and a yang to it all. But by and large, you know, the civil service can go hang. Let me start by laying a ghost. And that ghost is the right time what I've got. Um, my memory is still intact, as far as I can recall. Did you ever decide who was funnier, Terry or P.G. Woodhouse? In the end I decided that Terry Pratchett was not as funny as P.G. Woodhouse, but also that P.G. Woodhouse is just not as funny as Terry Pratchett. They're both as funny as themselves. They both make me laugh. But I can still laugh, and I can still talk, and I can still talk, but rather slowly because of the bloody letters moving around. <laughs> He didn't really start taking it off until uh, the BBC Women's Hour program uh, read both *The Colour of Magic*, uh, and then a little later they published, uh, they did um, uh, *Equal Rights*, and those produced uh, a tremendous amount of feedback for them, in positive and negative. Uh, the such of the like they never never experienced from, really from any of their readings at all. Uh, there's a certain amount of quiet fun to be had because they give me tests sometimes and they ask, they ask me the outsider's questions like how many letters do you, how many words do you know beginning with the letter P? <laughs> and I say, more than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Dealing with Terry is very easy because either he likes it or he doesn't. And, and once he had established that what we could do, what I could do was actually realise his vision in some small way, then it was easy. It was just a question of getting on and doing it. Um, and, uh, they ask these big questions like, what day is it? And I say, I don't know, ask my PA. <laughs> this is the, uh, the nucleus of the Thieves Guild. The original building, um, uh, which one can see uh, standing in front of you now, is, is based loosely um, on the Royal Courts in London. And uh, because, of course, in in in, uh, in Ankh-Morpork, they, they the thieves took over the courthouse. Um, so it, it's based on the Old Bailey, right up to the uh, rather crude figure on top. But of course, the um, the piece that Terry wanted was this huge thieves' kitchen. If I turn this round very slowly you can start to see this massive bottle-like shape. I'll answer uh, your obvious question. Stop going on about the disease. Are you writing any more Discworld books?